Hello everyone, Sick here. Today I'm going to be discussing this new Season 8 armor that has been hinted at and has been uh, shown on Halo Waypoint. And I'm just going to be discussing what I, my thoughts about it and why they're doing this. So, now remember how I said that cannon fodder deals primarily with Halo's cannon. Well, today we're going to creep a bit into other duties as assigned territory. If you've been keeping an eye on elements from Halo Infinite, you may notice a unique armor type that has been said to sit in a distinctly different branch of lore. So, basically what they're doing here, if you've seen the picture, which I'll show you a picture here of the Spartan-like armor in the Halo Infinite trailers, it looks cool, right? Because it's new. It's new to Halo Infinite. It's a whole different game, right? Like, Halo Infinite... You can go whatever path you want right now because it's not a developed game entirely yet and there's still room for changes. What they're doing with this new Season 8 armor as you can see down here is they're trying to incorporate some of that into Halo 3. Halo 3 being the most popular Halo on Halo MCC. We'll go ahead and go to the Odd Ones Out paragraph here. Dubbed Mythic Season 8 of the MCC will showcase Halo in a deliberately divergent way. As a big fan of all manner of media, I've always personally enjoyed when a beloved franchise can be viewed through a unique lens, applying different themes, styles, eras, eras, and more to create unexpected new experiences. Moments that can sit alongside a core universe and can give you a fresh little detour while keeping all of your beloved existing fiction and details nearly intact. Okay, this can't be farther from the truth, okay? Moments that sit alongside a core universe, giving you a fresh little detour. This isn't a little detour when it comes to armor design and how Halo 3 has normally been. This is a big t detour. This isn't a little detour. Uh, that was something I wanted to highlight. This isn't a little detour. This is a big detour. And uh, while keeping all of your beloved existing fiction and details nearly intact, neatly intact. First off, it's not neatly intact. Um, I would argue this is very much not the fiction we're used to. I think a Molnir Madness Season 8 is slated to deliver some unique armor sets. And it's basically each one is focused on reimagining the Cole Molnir armor as alternate universe amalgams based on legendary ancient warriors. So yes, these this armor looks like Spartan armor. It's like the Spartan 300. Granted, I would never would have imagined that a like Spartan 300 kind of vibe would ever come to Halo 3. It just doesn't belong. Yes, we had Hayabusa, but Hayabusa was unique in its own way, and it was one skin, and it was something that you strived for, and everyone, like, you know, kind of worked for. If this was, like, a one type of skin thing, like, Hayabusa was so unique, right? But all these different armor sets and armor helmets that are coming are so out of the blue. Like, the horns? Like, really? Come on. Um, I admit this one looks cool, but imagine this was, like, a unique armor set that you had to try and unlock through a difficult challenge or something along those lines and barely any people had it, like Hayabusa back in the day with Halo 3, then it would be cool. And it would be kind of a unique thing, kind of like Security. Security kind of had that original theme, but Hayabusa is probably the farthest out helmet we got in the original Halo 3. So I think these look great, but it's just not Halo 3. Like there's not one point, not one moment in the Halo lore that we've had so far has the helmets look like this, except for some crazy multiplayer. It'd be different if, like, you know, June or George back in the day had a helmet like this, but uh, literally never, no helmet has ever looked like this. This one is just insane. Uh, the horns one, I'm not a big fan of. This one, it looks very, I guess, medieval slash Roman Empire time frame. It's just so unique. It looks metallic, looks like the Terminator, you know, run, runs in. It looks kind of strange here. Just not a big fan. The... Uh, this one even looks stranger like what are these snakes oh my gosh like I don't these just no I don't un the, no <laughs> okay these can work these can like somewhat work in the universe they I mean they still don't work in the universe but these just what is that and the side faces like okay so you're gonna shoot the side of their head it's gonna be a big target for when you're sniping some of these just don't make sense uh, the that one's trippy I don't know why there's a diamond in the middle of the face like that this one could actually work, but just looks too too Roman. I'm just not a big fan of these, to be honest. This one just doesn't look like you're a Spartan. It looks like it's not even a helmet. It just looks like you are a kind of a, yeah, a crow, a blackguard crow. I like the idea. It's just, you know, it doesn't seem like it would work as a helmet. Same with this one. doesn't look like you're wearing a helmet. It looks like it's just your face itself. Uh, even though it is a helmet, it just doesn't look like a helmet at the end of the day. So... There's a lot of options here. There's a lot of new armor coming, which is good. The green, like, grass on the chest here. 
Again, never seen that on armor before. This is just totally a different take, and it's not even close to the Halo 3, which is the disappointing part of it. So as you can see, a lot of armor. We'll go ahead and count all these. I think it's up to 12, uh, maybe even 15, but there's a lot of pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 new pieces of armor. And they give you the art history, like why they decided to go with these different uh, pieces. And looking into this, like the side pieces look cool. Like the side pieces look like they could work. Uh, but the whole grass on the chest just doesn't look like it would work. There's a few, you know, just they're going way over the top here. I like the look of this right here. The, probably Spartan B is my favorite. Spartan A has that Hayabusa look. But again, uh, that one looks like it could work though. It's like Spartan A looks like it could fit in the universe, just a little bit far fetched. Spartan B looks the coolest, even though it doesn't look like it fit in the universe. And then like C is just like. Okay, what are we playing now? Are we playing Titanfall? What are we playing? <laughs> but they have this whole list, and I'm going to go ahead and send the link down in the description. Icebox is coming. But as you can see, this armor just looks so crazy. And I want to see what you guys think in the comments down below. The armor is insane. I want to see what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed today's video, feel free to like and subscribe.